Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Common reasons for grant or loan application rejection. So these are what you should know about the application of grants and loan that are coming on. But we are going to focus more on this particular one now that we have uh, spoken about, made video about, and it's ongoing now by the federal government is called the NYIF, that's Nigerian Youth Investment Fund. We've already done a lot about this. The link is in the description below. So we are interested in, you know, this form, there are two categories. There are two major categories. This is a loan equity, loan equity and grant. We are particular about the loan and grant loan yes you have to pay back the money is big 10 10 million 15 million 5 million yes the money is big then we talk about grant grant is 200,000 300,000 50,000 100,000 uh, 1 million i think the highest of it should be 2 million so this you don't pay back that is grant loan you pay back so this is the form we made a video on it earlier uh, some days ago the link will be in the description below and uh, it's really going on now and it's really a big deal by the federal government and um, you know that is that so now we'll go back to this place now reason for grant or loan rejection you know so we'll go so you need to watch this video before you fill this form you know eligibility um criteria your loan your grant or loan application can be rejected if your application does not meet requirements need needed before you apply ensure you always check the needed requirements and fill them out properly that is the first one then the second one weak proposal you know you have to write a business plan in this business in this grant you know when your proposal or business plan is not well written accordingly to tally with what you need the grant or loan for it may be rejected so ensure your business plan is professionally written then the third one is requested amount when the amount requested is is way higher than the budgeted grant or loan for an applicant started by the issuer stated by the issuer your grant or loan request might be rejected so ensure that you know in this number three one it's better you even request for a lower a lower a lower amount than a higher amount then the fourth one incomplete application incomplete application can get your loan or grant application rejected when you start the application and skip some key parts of the application without providing the required information this might cause your application to be rejected you know it's self-explicit then the fifth one now late application late submission some applicants okay some grant and loan application are based on first come first serve basis so when you submit your application at the dying minute or after the close date you might not be uh, attended to in conclusion it is advisable to know that grants and loan rejection is often a complex process involving multiple factors understanding these common reasons can help you and i improve on future grant or loan application so that is that that is that for now that is that for now so you can do well to to click on the link below the first link then you go through the form and the uh, fill federal government as you see the fifth fifth reason is good you feel it not at the dying minute so you need to take uh, to benefit from this time that we have and feel the form now that you have time see you on the other side